Hi guys, Metalhead here, and today I'm going to be comparing this gold sovereign coin on the left here to this gold Britannia coin, and both sourced directly from the Royal Mint. And in particular, what I'm going to be looking at today is the cost of these coins, uh, but particularly their premiums. So the premiums you need to pay to buy one of these coins over and above its intrinsic uh, gold value. So, so the actual gold that's contained in these coins, it's the premium over and above that intrinsic gold value. And it should hopefully give a good indication for you guys of where you can get the best value from uh, when you're buying your gold in the UK. These two coins are really the two main um, favorites that are used to buy gold in the UK. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna draw up a bit of a table. So for reference, today's date is the 20th of September, 21. And I'm just gonna put the spot price of golden, uh, which at the moment is for one ounce. The current price is 1,000. 290 pounds and 54 pence uh, for one gram it's coming in at uh, 41 pounds and 49 pence and I'm just going to do a little bit of a table here as I say so I'll put sovereign excuse my writing it's not the best but hopefully good enough to convey the message um, so sovereign and Britannia and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a little column in here which basically will detail the intrinsic value. So the actual value of the underlying gold that's within these coins. So on the one ounce Britannia, uh, that's very much uh, the spot price as it, as it is 24 karat uh, gold. So let's put that down there as 1,290 pounds and 54 pence as above. And then on the gold sovereign so this one's a bit more of a calculation required um because basically uh what we're going to do is use this one gram price and then times that by the amount of grams of intrinsic gold held within a sovereign coin and i happen to know uh that that is 7.3224 grams so if we just do a little calculation here 7.3224 times by 41.49 that equals 303 pounds and, well, round that up, 303 pounds and 81 pence. So I'll just pop that in here. 303 pounds and 81. Now, what I'm gonna do is have a look on the Royal Mint website and find out the actual price to buy uh, the Sovereign or the Britannia. So I'm just gonna flick over to there on my screen and I can see if my pen will actually write, just about. So a sovereign at the moment, excluding post and packaging to make it um, comparable between the two, is coming in at £327.94. And the Britannia is coming in at £1,391.39. Perfect. So you can see we're obviously paying a little bit more than the actual underlying intrinsic value um, of the of the metal, which makes sense because they're clearly, you know, very nice, beautiful coins. But exactly how much are we paying extra? So I'm just going to do a quick calculation here again. Um, just, in fact, I'll just put it to the side. So 327.94 minus 303.81. So that gives us 24 pound 13 premium and then on the gold britannia 1391.39 minus 1290.54 that gives us a premium of 100 pounds and 85 pence so this is the most important part and i'm just going to slide this over slightly for this actually um because i've run out of space uh but here we go so percentage premium and this is the all important number. This is looking at what percentage of premium um, we're paying uh, over and above the intrinsic gold value within these coins to get these coins. So to do that, on the first example, in fact, I'm just gonna move my camera up slightly. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, so the first one, the sovereign, is gonna be 24 pounds 13, which is the premium in actual pounds and pence. 
divided by the intrinsic value, which is 303.81 times 100. So that's coming in at 7. Point, if I can write, 7.94%. And then what about the Britannia? I hear you ask. Right, let's give this a go. So it's 100.85 divided by one, two, oh, do that again, 100.85 divided by 1290.54 equals times 100. Now I don't know if you can see that, but that's coming at 7.81%. So not too far off the sovereign actually. And actually, I think that's quite surprising. Uh, I don't know what you guys would have expected, um, but I actually thought that the I thought the Britannia would have come in at a lot less of a premium than the Sovereign. Is obviously you're buying a lot more gold um, and paying a lot more for it. But no, apparently uh, there is a slight difference. The the ever so slightly smaller premium on the Britannia, but nowhere near as much as I thought. Um, so that's really quite quite you know a good argument to maybe look at sovereigns i mean the premiums are basically the same as buying the full one ounce britannia but very surprising actually um, but there you go i mean hopefully that was uh, useful i'm certainly quite surprised by that i do have another video on my channel um, that used a similar methodology where i compared this one ounce gold britannia to a one ounce silver britannia and i looked at the premiums between the two and as you can probably imagine there's some quite extreme differentials there on the premiums um, like I say, hopefully that was useful, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Drop any questions if you've got any below. Uh, and in the meantime, happy stacking.